Hello guys! This video is based on a poll IMDb made asking who you think the most amazing 55 plus Hollywood actresses still alive are. There were 1,430 votes, and these are the results. Don't hold back your fingers and type away any disagreement you may have. Starting from the bottom 15. Sissy Spacek. After working as a singer, Sissy became an actress, gaining attention for her character transformations in Badlands in 1973 and Carrie in 1977. With her sweet southern accent and strawberry blonde hair, Sissy became one of Hollywood's leading actresses during the 1970s and 80s. In the following years, she adopted more of a mothering role. 14. Angela Bassett Actress and producer who made her breakthrough portraying Tina Turner in 1993's What's Love Got to Do With It? I'll give up all that other stuff, but only if I get to keep my name. In major movies, television shows, and stage productions, she's portrayed powerful women from history. She was nominated for an Oscar in 2023 for her role as Queen Ramonda in Black Panther, becoming the first actor to be nominated for a Marvel movie. 13. Jamie Lee Curtis That's what I call rubbing it in. Jamie Lee Curtis beats Angela Bassett here as well. In case you didn't know, Jamie won the Oscar Won an Oscar! for Everything Everywhere All at Once in 2023. As for her big break, she played Laurie Strode in Halloween and hasn't stopped since. She is the daughter of legendary actors Janet Lee and Tony Curtis. 12. Kathy Bates As an award-winning director and actress with a Hollywood Walk of Fame star, Bates established herself with Yes, I told you I was your number one fan. Stephen King's Misery in 1990 and has appeared in Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret recently. The ones around your life expectancy drops drastically. 11. Jennifer Beals After her role in Flashdance as Alex Owens and then overcoming the controversy of having a dance double, Beals built an impressive career in both film and television, most recently appearing in The L Word and The Chicago Code. It's really nice. Having you back here. 10. Demi Moore. She rose to fame after landing a role on General Hospital in 1982. Well, at least I was right. Then became part of Hollywood's brat pack of young stars. But in order to play the movie that raised her to fame, St. Elmo's Fire, she had to sign a contract stating she would stop, which may have saved her life. 9. Michelle Yeoh. Known for performing her own frequently dangerous stunts in movies such as Yes, Madam in 1985, Magnificent Warriors in 1987, and much more. We don't work with blue screens, we don't work with green screens, we don't work with digital effects. This Malaysian actress could be considered to be one of the greatest female action movie stars. 8. Jodie Foster From the age of two, she made commercials and finally made her TV debut in the series Mayberry RFD in 1968. She then became famous for her Oscar-nominated performance in Taxi Driver. And so I have to have three hours of school, and in a nine-hour or nine-hour day, I have to have about four hours of work. She is a woman who refused to play by Hollywood standards, and yet made her way up to the top. Seven, Susan Sarandon. She rose to fame after starring in the musical film The Rocky Horror Picture Show in 1974. Her subsequent roles included Atlantic City, The Client, and more. The 1995 film Dead Man Walking won her an Academy Award for her unglamorous but engaging performance as a nun. 6. Helen Mirren Boosting her career after playing Cleopatra in 1965, her performance over the past five decades in you kept one of our own locked up for 32 years. Film, television, and theater has been so successful that she is only one award away from earning the EGOT title. At 69 years old, she was named the face of L'Oreal Paris. 5. Sharon Stone After her acting debut in Stardust Memories in 1980 and Deadly Blessing, she rose to fame in Total Recall in 1990 and then in Basic Instinct making an interrogation scene that would later become a classic. You like playing games, don't you? I have a degree in psychology. It goes with Michelle Pfeiffer became one of Hollywood's most popular actresses during the 90s, starring in Batman Returns, Love Field, Frankie and Johnny, and biggest project being the fabulous Baker Boys in 1989 at the age of 31. I found my her latest projects have been The First Lady in 2022 and Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania in 2023. Let's go see our daughter. 
Meryl Streep is one of Hollywood's most acclaimed actresses. Just so incredibly in the 1980s, she established herself as the best actress of her generation and holds the record for the most Academy Award nominations in 21, winning three. Her most memorable roles are the French Lieutenant's Woman, Sophie's Choice, Silkwood, and some more. Sandra Bullock now among Hollywood's most beloved actresses. She was the highest paid actress in 2010 and 2014. She gave memorable performances in Demolition Man and wrestling Ernest Hemingway in 1993, but her stardom inevitably struck in her great hit speed in 1994. Julianne Moore spent her early years in more than 20 locations around the world with her parents during her dad's military career. She made her entrance to the big screen with Tales from the Dark Side, the movie, in 1990, and after that, the 90s was a crazy busy decade for her, taking part in more than 20 movies. She continued to act in high-profile roles such as A Single Man in 2009, and finally in 2014 with Still Alice, she received her long-overdue Oscar. Baby steps into the... into... Uh... And that is all. Do you think you would have ranked them the same? See you soon!